the Point Beach nuclear power plant near Two Rivers had to be evacuated this morning after a threat was reported to the police department. The FBI was even called in. But as Channel 5's Shelley Botot tells us, turned out to be a big misunderstanding. Just after 8 this morning, about 450 workers from the Point Beach nuclear plant were evacuated for an unusual event. It's the plant's lowest emergency classification. The declaration was a result of notification by local law enforcement of a threat against the plant that was de deemed to be credible. The report of the threat came from a clerk at Quick Trip in Two Rivers. That's where a man stopped in to ask for directions to the power plant. As the mail was leaving, she heard him say something to the effect of, I came to blow up the place. So she called police. The man's car was later located at the plant. He was identified as a 23-year-old contract employee from Massachusetts. It turns out the threat was a statement taken out of context. That individual gave a slightly different story, but freely admitted to, to having the conversation and indicated that what he had said uh, was that he had hoped that he wouldn't blow the place up since this was his first day working at that site. Uh, he, had, he did not intend it to be alarming. Plant officials say they did lose productivity because of the misunderstanding, but say the clerk did do the right thing. All those things happened the way they were supposed to happen and the way we would expect to happen because what we're looking for is protecting the health and safety of the public. And that's why we have a... Um, Zero tolerance and an emergency plan put in place in case things happen. Police agree and say this is a lesson learned the hard way. I think it's also an example of being careful what you say in a public place that could be misunderstood. Shelley Bota, Channel 5 News, Manitowoc County. And the clerk who called in that threat tells Channel 5 she believes she did the right thing. Police are not charging the man. As for his employment with Point Beach, plant officials say they are not able to speculate on that right now.